we're going live. Here we are. Hello, Hello. Facebook. Hi, Facebook. Welcome to Business TV. Today with Yvonne Denman. Um, Yvonne is um, a pretty uh, clever lady when it comes to things like um, utilities and, uh, well, the, the whole balance in your household bills and stuff like that. And uh, we're really looking forward to talking with her. And as you can see, we've all Christmas up. Look, Christmas, Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to you now. Before, if I forget at the end, which I probably will, have a good Christmas and a good New Year. And we'll see you back in January. So, yes, on the 5th, I believe we're back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're having a nice little rest ourselves. So, yes. So, Yvonne, so you've been uh, you've been doing utilities and um, the, the MLM, which is the multi-level multi marketing uh, business stuff for how long now 18 years 18 years wow. good god wow that there's been some changes time. in the industry over 18 years Yvonne it has yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet you've seen some things well, well when we started there was only two services now we've got loads more yeah but it's not just that as well you've obviously you because you, you do broadband internet and all the rest of it as well don't you mm, yeah so essentially You've seen it over 18 years, the whole digital world has just gone. Whoosh, oh, and, definitely. And, and you've seen all that change as well. Yeah. Pre-COVID, it was always face to face with people. Yeah. Uh, because of COVID, we had to move online, yeah. uh, which has been great because it means it's keeping me safe. It's keeping the people I'm talking to safe uh, and you can still build your business. So yeah. Yeah. It's worked. It, it's yeah. also opened your your clientele up to national as opposed to a geographical area absolutely you had to visit face to face you know so yeah. you, you you've got a much wider audience now mm. hence things like this yeah yeah and especially being able to network online you didn't have to drive anywhere mm. um, so yeah i've been networking all over the uk and it's fabulous it is good it is good i must admit and and, and again i think it came at a time where broadband speeds and stuff were uh, able to cope with this. I mean, if this had happened 18 years ago, then we would have all been like, uh, I don't know what to do now. Yeah. Um, 18 years ago, Facebook didn't even exist. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It was February the 4th, 2004, when Facebook launched. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know that. My sister's birthday. <laughs> not, not, no, not too. No, anyway. So, yes, yeah, so, right, so at the moment, what we are seeing, though, is an absolute nightmare when it comes to things like um, the, the, the basically your gas and all the rest of it. And, well, it's been quite a uh, crazy uh, few months, hasn't it, where, where basically we've got companies going under, Bulb now have gone into administration, mm. um, and they, they say that only the top tier firms are actually going to get through this mm -hmm. um do you see an end to it i don't know if it'll ever end because we're held up by what's happening where the gas comes from all mm. the rest of it um but for us i mean a lot of companies like you say have gone bust since september i think it's 24 25 something like that yeah. and they're expecting more to go down Media is expecting more to go down before Christmas or before yeah. New Year. Yeah. And the problem with that is a lot of people are losing their jobs since September. Uh, it's not just the customers having the inconvenience of being yeah. moved to a different supplier that they don't know who yet uh, or didn't at the time. But um, it's the people who lost their jobs. I think that's really sad yeah. because I think one of the things that's more realistic today, there's no jobs... No, no jobs for life, no secu oh. security anymore. So having an extra income on the side um, that fits in around your family, your day job, things like that, is one yeah. of the most, it's, it's the best way to go. Uh, Multi-level marketing is flourishing because of it. Yeah. Because um, people have realised that this is something you can do spare time. Yeah, because you only get what you only get from it what you put into it, which in like anything in life. But at the end of the day, you can say, okay, well, I've got my part-time job, I've got my full-time job doing something to bring in the bit the money for the bills, but I'm interested in doing this, so you can earn a bit more. 
Mm. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's uh, it is it is a good structure, and it is there. I mean, you say a lot of people are losing their jobs at the moment, and uh, maybe the, the opportunities are there for them to actually slip into the same sector uh, mm. by working with people with people like yourself and uh, but but actually so it's stuff that it, it's an industry they know and they could easily slip across into it's uh yeah it's it's a funny old world at the moment it really is you say about when i when i was a teenager a long time ago <laughs> yeah my my father used to insist you 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 go to work for a company you 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 stick at it you you know you build your pension and do this and work for them and blah, blah, blah. Mm. and it's it's a completely different world to what he experienced and and at the end of the day i've had many jobs mm. uh, everything from being in the military through to um i even worked in a slaughter at one point um but yeah it's a uh, it's a crazy crazy world well, this is it. We grew up with that. Our parents did. Our grandparents did. Go to work for forty years, work hard, yeah. retire with a gold watch, sort of thing. Yeah. But these days, people rarely stay in job more than a couple of years. They're always yeah. moving. They're always moving on to the next better thing or whatever. Um, and companies are realizing that more and more. Yeah. It, it is what it is, and it's difficult for companies at the moment as well. Um, trying yeah. to keep going. Um, yeah. The pandemic has not helped at all. No, we 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 recently helped the company make a recruitment video because of the fact that they were uh, struggling to recruit. Mm -hmm. But then again, the, the self employment numbers have gone up. More yes. people are now self employed than 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 uh, than were previously, mm -hmm. um, which is not a bad thing. But a lot of people were going to self employment thinking it's all rose and you know with with rose tinted glasses and stuff and not realize how difficult it can be um don't let that put anybody off please mm -hmm. it, it is worth it but you yeah i i always say um that, that working for yourself your boss is an arsehole you know makes you work all the hours under the sun and pays you very little mm -hmm. um well, listen, <clears throat> you've got a choice you're either working to make him rich yeah you're not working and make yourself better yeah. off yeah um, and being self-employed is the best thing yeah. ever never regretted it yeah and I suppose we're working, you know, with, with uh, people like yourself, that you know, it is a good opportunity because when you when you go into an MLM business, you you you're not going in like, hey everybody, it's me and I've got my product and services. You've got support. Yes. Yeah. You've got structure. Mm -hmm. All these things are kind of in place. I mean, one of the questions we always ask people is about the, um, you know, what kind of uh software and apps and stuff you use in your business that makes it easier but like you say you, you, everything that you have is provided for you mm. yeah but you, um, you're, not, you're not buying into a franchise are you so you're not having to invest in it no you know you can no, come in and get all the support you need yeah with the through the through the other members that are the, the other yeah. in the in the marketing multiple yeah. marketing well, this is it. The training is there. Everything is provided. The hosted websites, and you know how much it is, how expensive it can be to set up a website. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Um, those are provided. Everybody has their own hosted website. Um, every customer has their own clubhouse yeah. account where they can go on and submit their meter readings, top up their cashback card, whatever, um, all the kind of things that benefits that we provide. Yeah. So, uh, but the training is amazing. Yeah. Um, the personal development has been fantastic. And someone once said to me, this is more like a personal development company with a brilliant compensation plan. Uh, and it's mm. true. It, it's yeah. true. It's because we're not just an energy company. It's no. good like the m and advert, isn't it? We're not just an energy company. We do other services. Mm. And that's what's keeping us stable. We're able to diversify. Yeah, and that brings me nicely on to uh, what, what I was going to ask you. You know, what 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 type of products and services do you provide? Uh, mobile, broadband, landline, uh, the energy, obviously, gas and electric, or just electric. Uh, a lot of rural places in the UK still don't have gas. Mm. Um, we can supply you with a new boiler. Um, we do insurances, um, building and contents, uh, and boiler and home cover and. They're very competitively priced and they're award winning, five star. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, do they also read you moving into the uh, electric car market in charging points and stuff like that? 
that's that's in the works um yeah. where they will install the you know because we've got a charger at home for our electric car uh and when we bought our first ev we got a i think you get a grant from the government or mm. something to go towards paying for it um and that's the plan they're planning to install them in for customers who have ev cars that's really? down the line so uh yeah Exactly. And then from you, you mentioned that it's uh, it's it's like a comp and it's like a really good um, uh, personal training workshop with a compensation plan. But the thing is, you also have compensation plans for customers as well, don't you? Because you have the, the referrals, the reward card as well. Um, oh, the cashback card. The cashback card. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's amazing because it will just by shopping where you normally shop anywhere. You don't have to give up your favorite suppliers um, just by shopping anywhere in the UK, the cashback comes off your utility bills the following month. Um, and that can make a difference to families. You no know. Idea. Yeah. yeah. So do you, do you, is, that, is that a preloaded card? Do you have to load the money onto it? Yeah. yeah. It's and not then, a credit or debit card. You can't get into debt with it. Yeah. So you, pre, um, you preload it with, say, say £100. My weekly shop's going to be £100. I'm off to Sainsbury's or Asda or whoever. Yeah. Here's my £100. When I spend £100, I put it on that card. And then that generates a cashbacks towards your utilities you say is that so it yeah, goes it, it, it's, it's a credit line on your bill comes off your utility bill the following month oh, okay right and that's online shopping as well as high street so wow. you, you use it like a visa debit or a yeah hmm. but like girl says you put the hundred quid on or not yeah all right okay and then that comes off your bills so you find something you want to buy online it's 26.99 you load your card with 26.99 from your current account you then spend it on that card, and some of that cost comes back to your utility bill. What a clever idea! What a clever idea! What way do you have? Is there a set percentage that comes back, or is it um, on the high street? It ranges between three percent and seven percent. Wow! Uh, and online, it, it can be a lot more. Um, I can even I've seen up to ten percent in some cases. Wow. And online, it's two thousand outlets, more than to probably these days because. Um, Depending on the card, you've got the, the cashback card. Uh, if it's one of the newer ones, it includes the one percent everywhere, like right. contactless car parking, the coffee shop, the hairdresser. Um, yeah. So we just load it at the beginning of the month and use it, top up if we need. And I've topped up in the supermarket before when I was getting to the queue and I looked, but I've spent more than I've got on the card and I can top it up straight away. I was yeah. just standing in the queue, so uh, it's so. It's all very clever, isn't it? Wow, all very clever. And, and, and in general, Yvonne, how this is a difficult question to answer, and I know it's it's very much averages. How much do people get off their utilities if they use it properly? If they use it properly, um, let's say we know people in the, in the company who have wiped out their January bill by doing their Christmas shopping with their card. For the yeah. you know, and they've had large families, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, but even and so, an expensive. average an average utility bill will be 150 pounds a month. Yeah, you know, so wow. Well, John and I can average 25 pounds a month. There's only two of us now and two cats. Kids have grown up, so do the cats not have a card? <laughs> with the cat food and the cat food and the beds are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> they eat well, our cats. <laughs> Uh, but um yeah we can average 25 pound a month just on a normal month but when you go on holidays or you're booking holidays things like that yeah yeah uh, even so you're getting a fifth of your utility bill back yeah yeah you multiply that by 12 25 or even 20 it's 240 pound a year off your bills that's a lot and it yeah. is, especially being as um, I think Gareth was saying earlier about reading that bills are going to go up even more. Mm -hmm. uh, could reach it. Could reach two thousand pounds a year. You were yeah. saying, which is quite a quite a hike. Well, so, yeah, there's it's due review April time. I think is when they'll review it and the cap because the the this, the government or off Gen set cap uh, and that's. They've had to do that. They're trying to, they do try and make it equal for everyone, but it, it doesn't always work out that way because the cost of getting the energy has gone up. That has spiked. Yeah. And it was a fire in a big uh, place in France, which was, you know, I don't know whether it was a gas plant or electric plant or something like that, but it was a huge fire. 
which are interrupted supplies as well. So, you know, it's a bit of... Here's a, here's a question that always interests me with, with, with utilities, uh, Yvonne, is that um, do you, do you, you, does your company um, always provide the cheapest rate to all your clients? Because you, you, I'm, I'm not with your company, I'm with another company, and every 12 months, 18 months, I've got to renegotiate with them to another deal, you know, and if I don't renegotiate, I'm put onto their standard deal, which is not necessarily the the best rate I can get. And it's just as a as a as a marketplace, it always seems very confusing. You know, as a consumer, I just want to say I'm getting a, a good deal, mm. but I don't know whether I'm getting a good deal or I'm not getting a good deal until I search the marketplace. It's it's a bit like car insurance, I suppose. You have to do it every year. Yeah. <laughs> So, so how does your company work? Do, do you want are you on fixed tariffs for say twelve months, and then you have to renegotiate, or does the well, company do it on your behalf? How does it how does it work? If you're on a fixed rate, um, and it's at the moment it's usually twelve months. Prior to the you know about eleven months in, they will say write to the customer. Most people don't read them; they don't read mm. their mails or or whatever, but they miss it. I tend to diarize my customers fixed rates when their energy starts and they're on a 12 month contract so i'll remind them but um they do come back and say you know your fixed rate ends on such and such a time if you don't contact us and take another fixed rate you'll automatically go on the variable and i think that is standard throughout the industry yeah. but at the moment the variable is better than the fixed rates because of the government cap so, yeah so, so you you but you take it on board to look at this on behalf of your customers Mm. Which is if if you with if you with British Gas, let's use the biggest that I name that I can think of. Uh, I haven't got a person at British Gas is going to ring me in twelve, eight months, nine months time and say, "Oh, by the way, your uh, energy due for renewal in three months time." It's just they're just not geared up for that, are they? You know, but you're. I don't you, know. You, Some companies are because I have seen. It's usually when people get reminders that they're contacting me, especially at the moment because mm. of the energy crisis. People are actually not waiting for us to go out looking for them, they're actually coming back to us. Sure. Uh, and they said, we've had notification. Um, our bill is going to go up 100, 200 pounds a month. You know, can we can we see you, you know, can you help? Yeah. Uh, and, and that's just on the energy. And we, our whole package is the best deal because with us, the more services you take, the better the prices are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, if a customer is able to, it, they aren't always because of contracts and whatever. But quite often, if we bring them in, even just as energy customers, I know because I'm going to look after them, I'm going to remind them to do their meter readings until they get a smart meter. If you take a smart meter from us, we'll give you a credit of £50 off your bill after it's been installed. It's the best way to go because your bills are going to be accurate. No more estimated bills. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, just by looking after them, I know they, in time, when their contracts on the broadband is up, they'll have a look at what we offer. Yeah. And if it's the right time for them, then they'll come across and customers do. I, I do think that companies now ha are, are, are supposed to contact you, um, like in advance well, of the renewals and stuff. Um, if people don't so, read them, it, it's- No, no, well, <laughs> My cat insurance just came through, um, which renews in January, and um, it was double. So I've, I've moved elsewhere. So, you know, but I think they are supposed to. So British Gas, we're sorry if Gareth upset you. You did me a really good deal. You did me a really good deal on my home care and boiler. Thank you very much. You are awesome. Oh, this is better. Uh, yeah, I've just, I've just stopping us getting sued. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so, you know, it, it, yeah, it's, I think the, the way the world is now engineered, really, if you, if you, do, even if you don't have to, as, as a, a provider, you have, it would make more sense to actually say, let's have a bit of customer service. Mm. You know? It's not just that, by putting, we can put up to the, these multiple services all on one simple monthly bill. So yeah. it's one account, it's one telephone number if there's a problem or a query. Yeah. There's, you know, there's, there's one bill with eight services, which is one direct debit instead mm. of six, seven, eight direct debits. Um, it, it just makes it easier for people to budget. 
Yeah. Um, and just to clarify, they don't have to take all eight services with you. They can. No, 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 they don't have to. It's not always possible or convenient. Yeah. But when it is convenient, they can move them on at a later date. Yeah. Uh, and they do. So. Mm, that's good. Brilliant. Yeah. So, so thinking thinking back through your career, uh, Yvonne, what if you could go back in time? What advice would you give your younger self? You know, what what do you know now that you think? Oh, I wish I'd have known that X number of years ago. Uh, one of the things I've learned is, you know, someone said to me because I hated the thought of standing up and doing the sixty seconds and all the rest of it. Uh, and someone said to me, you know, be yourself because everyone else is taken. Um, yeah. And yeah, and be kinder to yourself because you know, and as you just said at the beginning, Gareth, you know, don't do yourself down. It's it's easier because we kind of measure ourselves against each other, and we shouldn't uh, because we're all unique, we're all different. Um, but yeah, what I like to do, especially when new people coming into the group, is you can make plans but write them in pencil because they'll change. Over time, what, what you wanted to, you know, at 18 is not what you want when you're 30. No. You know, life is, you have to be flexible. Uh, and we do goal setting and we, in bite-sized steps, not the massive, huge, you know, let's just do a bit at a time, one step at a time. It doesn't have to be, you know, put a lot of pressure on people. That's what I love about MLM especially, but this company is um, there's no pressure. You're your own boss. You yeah. choose what to do, when to do it. Uh, and yeah, the more you do, the more you get back. But it yeah. can still be achieved if you do it as slow as well as fast. So, you know, each to their own. Uh, yeah, life certainly is fluid. It certainly is. It changes all the time. So, mm. so jumping forward then, what, what's your goals for the end of 2022? What do you want to achieve next year? Um, I'd like to get to the next level, but John and I would both like to get to the next level. But it... We will only get there if the team gets there. So what we have to do is work with the team, which we do all the time, um, help them achieve their next level, because by doing that, that will help us achieve ours. Um, and I think you have to give out for things to come back to you. Oh, very much so. You've got it. Yeah. Yeah. There is a saying in networking, isn't it? Give us gain. It's a, mm. it's a big saying from one of the sure. huge organisations. Yeah. And the more you give, the more you'll get back. Yeah. There's a, actually what, it was a book of the month recently with that, um, you know, Givers Win or whatever. It was a very good book. Because mm. um, one of the things we do invest in is invest in yourself, um, you know, because you're responsible. We all have to take responsibility for what we do and how we do it and how we treat people and being aware and kind and all the rest of it. Yeah. It's not all about selling. Um, no. No, it, it's, it's about helping people, focusing on what they need. Listening, that was one of the things my husband has worked a lot of years trying to get me to do is, you know, zip that and use those. Yeah, very true. Team responsibility is a good one because it, it seems to be in these days that more and more people don't don't take responsibility. I, I, I mean, the Simpsons once. Uh, I, I think the Simpsons are a, a guide to the way life is at the moment. You know, and, and well, the way life is, they they pick out the things, and it, like Homer said, why do all my actions have to have consequences? You know, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of people who go through life thinking that why 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 do my actions have to have consequences? Yeah. They do take responsibility. Yeah, and and everything happens for a reason because um, you know. When people come into this business, we, we have to manage their expectations in a sense because yeah. you, you show them the compensation plan and they, they get all excited, but they have to realise that that only happens if you put in the effort. You have to yeah. do the work. You have to learn the skills because there are skills in there um, that you probably never thought were necessary. Uh, and people say no, and they should be allowed to say no without you going into a pity party because everyone has the right to choose and it's probably just not the right time. Mm. Um, when the timing's right, people will always remember how you made them feel. So if you don't make them feel bad because they said no, they'll come back. They'll come back, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. It took, us, it took six years for John's sister to become a customer. <laughs> yeah. But timing sometimes isn't always right, is it? No, and it you is know. all about timing and numbers. 
yeah. you know you need to talk to a lot of people yeah um, i think that's general in business it I, is I've, yeah I've, I've always said that i want to be the next cab on the rank for everybody you know so when the the last cab's gone i'm the next one in line you know mm. yeah. yeah it's a good way of looking at it and I think focusing yeah. on one thing at a time. I've got, I know people who do two or three different MLMs all at the same time. It, it, I couldn't do that. Ooh, I think uh, you need to give 100% of your time. Even if it's just an hour a day, you need to focus. Um, trying to no. do too many things just doesn't work. Not for me anyway. No. So in, in, your, in your daily working life, what kind of computer apps, productivity tools, that kind of thing do you use to help people? Oh, well, basically, we've got all that on our host of websites because it's like a back office where there's links to all our training, to all the events that are coming up and, and all the different things that we do. Um, and you can go on and redo the training as many times as you like, mm. because as you can imagine in the industry we're in, things change. It used to be quarterly or annually. Nowadays, with the energy at least, it's been almost daily when things were changing. Yeah. Mm. Um, and so... You, you know, you to keep up to date. That is there. It's provided, um, and all you have to do is log into it and, mm. and learn. Uh, and we do that as a team. Um, you can see how the group's doing as well. Um, okay. so, so it's like a CRM then. It's, it's it is. We have. It, there is. We call it the My Planner, and you can put the details of all in there of the people you've met. You know. Right. A, a bit of information are the, were they interested in talking to you in six months time maybe right you, know, you can send it, 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 it it's an amazing bit of kit it comes up and tells you what services are available to wow. that postcode etc um so uh yeah it, it well, works that's, and, all, that's all provided for you so you, it's not as though you have to find it and load it all yourself it's all no it, before the end of yeah. that multi-level marketing yeah, before that, um, my planner came on board. Um, John and I used to do user CRM, um, which was great because you could have um, a department, if you like, for a team and a partner for customers and potentials and emails. It would email out to people, would remind you every day what's, you know, what you've got to do because you'd say, call so and so in six weeks' time. You get an email reminder in the morning. Um, so, yeah. And my planner does exactly that, and it's supplied by the company, so it's it's great. Yeah, sounds really good. Sounds really good. So, <clears throat> well, that's it, really. Um, at the end that. of the day, I will uh, do my best to remember to say Merry Christmas to everybody, and thank you very <laughs> much, Yvonne. Well, um, you. And we will be back on the fifth of January. Fifth of January. Um, with Laura Greenwood, um, who basically specializes in lead generation. So uh, we'll be having a good chat with Laura about lead generation and stuff like that. But uh, for now, this week is a bit of a bust because everybody's leading up to Christmas. So mm -hmm. there's absolutely nobody's interested at all. Um, so, is, is the lunchtime networking not happening? Um, there's nobody booked on at the end of the day, so um, I think that uh, we, we should probably cancel that. But going forward, I'm this week I'm spending time building a um, website for one hour networking, and I'm also putting together some more stuff for Netopia for next year. So, watch this space, we've got lots coming up. Yeah. But until then, thank you, Yvonne, very much for coming Thanks, on. And, thank you, Yvonne. Uh, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. I hope Santa brings you everything that you need. <laughs> or want. Not what you want. What you no, need. what you need. Yeah. So, we don't know what we need, do we? <laughs> no, we don't. That, that's the problem. Anyway, cheers, then. See you in the new year. Bye. Bye, Facebook.